Hi everyone, welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler, and we're gonna get right at it. Um, the first play we're gonna look at is um, sort of exemplary of some of the problems they're having on offense. And in this case, I mean, we have to be, go right to it, and, and it's Aaron Rodgers just not pulling the trigger on this particular play. So um, just to set it up, uh, Packers have two tight ends, two wide receivers, Cedric Benson, Seattle kind of comes with an unusual defense, four linebackers, four defensive uh, linemen. Mm -hmm. And then I think there's something up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know? Why don't you kind of explain what's going on with their defense? Yeah, here? if you looked at tape on these guys last year, the Green Bay Packers, you know, number three in the NFL in scoring, MVP of the league, you know, great numbers. You looked at how they got to these big plays. And if you're a coach, you're going to tell your safety to be deep as the deepest, but I'm telling you, he was 30 yards plus deep. So you're really operating in the intermediate area of town with 10 people, because there's a lot of room in here mm -hmm. for you know to throw a pass, and we're gonna talk about that in a minute. But when you're going through your progression in what we call a bootleg, where you're faking the run, after Taylor comes in this motion. This guy comes, uh, this is Ryan Taylor, and right. he comes, and they're setting up blocking on this side, essentially, right? right? And it's, well, it's a max, to get to a max protection, to slow down the rush. Right, and first they're faking, it's a play action, and they're, you know, all their guys are moving this way. Right. Um, but the reality is they want Rodgers out here to throw it. Right, he wants to come out here and maybe throw it in this area, the way it's set up. But, and these are the hash marks right here. Mm -hmm. But I was thinking maybe, and I know this Monday morning quarterback, set up right here and make your throw. Because okay. you got Jennings coming all the way over here. And remember that area I was telling you that was open? Right. He was open in that window. But for some reason, Rodgers didn't throw it because you got Jordy Nelson come down where we run a big seven route. That's the one he wanted, but this cornerback was back deep waiting on this, and so was that safety. Yeah. And what happens was Rodgers drifts, drifts, and drifts. Next thing you know, they, they get him on a sack. Yeah, and, and what we could see from the film was, um, okay, so he's, he's back here. Right. And there was a spot where right there, there there's just this hit window, right? Yep. And he, exactly but, right. but I think we looked and we were sort of looking at his eyes or we could see his helmet and he was really focused here. Yes. You know, he really wanted that deep ball when right. probably his throw was right here. And, and, and then it continued, right? Because, um, okay, so it was too late. What yep. happened was Ryan Taylor missed his block and this guy came in pressuring. Josh Sitton was smart and came in and right. helped block. But, that prevented him from, you know, hitting to the next window because right. he just didn't have room to do it. So right. he steps up here, and what are his and, options and, then? Well, that's a good question. Your options now, they take away my two deep three threats, which is a two-man route. You got 84. He just kind of drifts off yeah, his block, right? They're just drifting right here. They're wide open. Yeah. I and mean, he could have just dumped it, right? Just, that's what we call a check down. Just check down to you guys. It's not real pretty, but it keeps the chains moving. On first down, you just want to try to get some. Second and 10 is hard to come up with. Yeah. So I think Rodgers is a little aggressive right now in certain areas. And once he doesn't have this, you remember a while, a couple weeks back, he tried it on 31, tried to throw a 60 yarder yeah. against San Francisco. It was it's double, double covered. covered. Yeah. He needs to just say, listen, when I look up in my progression, I see two guys deep. Hit the check down, survivor another day. Now, right. he did do that a couple of times to Cedric Benson. Correct. And to Kuhn, but he needs to continue to do that. You know, I feel, you know, kind of weird telling the MVP what to do, but I just think it's the patience of a quarterback <laughs> sometimes when you've made your living here. Right. These defenses, they get paid too. Yes, they and, make, they, and they, they study adjustments. You. Yeah. Absolutely. And, you know, the, the interesting part about it, this was, you know, McCarthy. Um, used this thing in training camp, this 2.5 second clock, right. where it would go off um, yes. after 2.5 seconds yes. to signal that, right. you know, get rid of it, you gotta have the ball by then. Right. And this is well over 2.5, and I no think question. we saw a number of plays. And you know, there's one more thing I wanna talk about real quick. He had a window, he as in Rogers, that was huge, I hate to keep it, drawing it, right yeah. through here, he could've just took off and ran. And right, this guy had his back to him because he's, you know, the, these guys are all there. over the place. He could just took out and run the ball. 
I would like to see him go through his progression. If it's not there, take off. Yeah. Take off and slide. He's one of the best quarterbacks today is running the ball. Not to mention he can outrun most linebackers are all and some DBs he can outrun. Get the first down. When it's first and ten, you gotta get a positive play, not a negative play. Right. And I but think it, that hurts. You. It just shows you there's a lot of things going, you know, that aren't wrong with the offense right there. Right. Their timing is off. The timing their, is off. You know, and that's because the Jennings hadn't been a lot of practice. They set out a lot of training yeah. camp. And also the groin injury was out. So you got to get to find out where these guys are and kind of start over. And you got a new back. You had Ryan Grant, you know, who just signed with the Redskins, by the way. And now you got Cedric Benson in there. You got different guys. Crabtree was deactivated, so Taylor's playing a little right. bit. DJ Williams is playing. You know, Jermichael Finley will be rotating. So it's a lot of moving parts right now right. to find out their identity. Okay, next we're going to look at a play in which Charles Woodson yeah. is involved, but, yes. um, you know. It's he, not like what you think. It's not like what you think, yeah. exactly. So I'll be, again, in McGuanago this Sunday watching a Packer game at Fork in the Road. So if you're in the McGuanago, Wisconsin area, come on by from 11 to 2. And again, thank you so much to the Salvation Army. November the 2nd, me hosting Frank Sinatra Jr. at the Paps Theater. You can pick up tickets there. And again, Sydney's Market, Ballastery Family, thank you so much, and W.J. Cool. Okay, and stay tuned for this next play. Okay, we're going to show you, this is a play that um, the Seahawks scored a 41-yard touchdown um, from uh, Russell Wilson to Golden Tate. And we start out, they have a double tight end formation, two wide receivers, sort of just exactly what the Packers the sure, play we just showed you formation. before, yeah. yeah. Um, but it's a little strange because this guy has got his hand on the ground and he's sort of flexed out. Right. And then at the before the snap, this guy comes in motion and he lines up here. And the Packers react, these two guys start communicating and uh, Morgan Burnett comes down to mm -hmm. support the run because it looks like it's going to be a run to that then, side. What does Woodson do? Woodson then rotates to the middle. Yep. And so that's they the got normal. a single high safety there. Yep, and that's the normal rotation where, you know, you come over here, the strength has gone from strong to weak, back to strong, and the safeties rotate. Now Woodson goes from a strong safety to a free safety. Mm -hmm. So he's back deep. And now this is a play that all West Coast offenses run, and it's basically called a, it's called a Dino. And I, I, I have to tell you off camera why they call it the Dino. Okay. But, I always thought to, it was down and out or something like that. But <laughs> it's no, really weird. Uh, okay. We're going to get thrown off the air. Yeah, all right, but go through. Here, here's the problem with this. Like you said, this tight end is flexed out, so it's pretty good spacing there, and no one can get a hand on him. But as Woodson is going back to the middle, now this tight end goes up and he bends it back to occupy Woodson. So now 21 is draw Woodson right yeah, there. Yeah, Woodson's right here. He's right there. Now, here's the problem with this. And Tremont Williams has picked up more passes than anybody the last five years. He recognizes this route, but not in this formation, not when they're a bunch. So the guy, the uh, Golden Tate came up, and he went out, in, out, and in again. That takes a long time, and he pretty much – you know, Tremont came in, turned into a circle, and then got outside here. And right at the end, he pointed to Woodson. Yeah. Well, here's what happened. So he, you know, Wilson, it's a play-action pass, and mm -hmm. everybody's going this way. Right. He comes out. He throws it here. Yep. Woodson is occupied, but he has the sense to go this way. And actually, we talked about yep. that. If Russell Wilson had decided to go he here, he overran Woodson overran, he yep. overcompensated <laughs> here. But it's still too much to ask for him. I don't even yeah. know if Nick Collins could have made it. He no. might, he might no. have made it over but, this way. And he, see, that's the so thing. Fast. This tight end is the second option. He's just occupying the middle safe. This route only can work good, really, in 3D. And the Packers don't run a lot of 3D. Yeah. But once you get this coverage, you told your quarterback, Daryl Bevel, the coordinator, you know, plus 40, you should be able to throw it in this particular window. And he only completed 11 passes, and this is one of his best throws. Now, the problem is once Tremont recognizes this route, when this guy makes his third break, Tremont jumps inside and goes inside and picks those off all the time. Right. 
I can think of five passes he's picked up to Dino. But normally it's wide, and you can see, you know, what the, the route is kind of maturing, and he jumps it. But in this case, he didn't recognize it because of the formation, the personnel, and the closeness of the two receivers. Good coaching on Seattle's part. They set Absolutely. him up. They set yep. him up for this. Yep. Now, mm -hmm. the, the thing that really um, occurred to me and, and surprised me was that even though he got turned around and he was trailing, yes. it looked like he just kind of gave up here and thought that Woodson was going to be there to pick it off, like mm -hmm. Woodson would cut in. You got to follow that through, don't you? Yeah, because you're thinking in your mind, it's deep thirds. I got a third. Sam Shields has a third, and Woodson has a third. So anything going to the post, I should have help in your mind. But when you flood the zone, like you're getting two guys in a zone, you got to cover the secondary zone. Yeah. You're on your own. And you, you have know? to know who you're playing with too, don't right. you? I Absolutely. mean, if that was you and Eugene Robinson, you know Eugene Robinson doesn't yes. run like Darren Sharper runs, right? right? Yeah. So get, this isn't uh, Nick Collins. And you would get a little bit deeper, but not only that, you, like you said, you know your personnel, you know you're playing with. And once you see the Dino, sometimes we would do, we would push this this uh, tight end, mm -hmm. we would push him to the deep corner over here, and we would let the receiver get dropped back into a zone. Now we got all three guys back, and we would jump those. Okay. But again, the formation, it's a run formation, not a pass. Yeah. And it's so, got what we call a bunch. It confused Tremont. I don't think you'll see that happen again. And the last, the uh, last point about this was with um, Nick Perry's here, and his right. job is contained he here. He can't, contained. he can't let that get outside of him. Because he got but, hooked against San Francisco, so that's exactly. why. Exactly. Like, but yeah. if this is Clay Matthews, you know, who's an experienced guy, mm -hmm. he maybe edges over and just nudges that guy like to Simmons take him off. Did, uh, when Wayne Simmons used to do it against San Francisco. Right, without losing yep. his contain, but right. just knock him off his route a little bit right. and slow now, it down. Now, if he knocks this guy off, the route is over. Yeah. Because now this guy is stumbling. He and can't Woodson, occupy. Right. Once he can pick the pass off of that. So it all well, works together. Exactly. But, again, I will say this. The Saints run the same play. Hopefully the Packers can defend it. Yeah, we, we will see. And join us next week, and thanks for being with us again this time. Thank you very much.